All right, now I know you know Jules Asner from her days as the face of E! Entertainment Television. She often interviewed Hollywood's hottest stars, put it to them, but now she's written a book that only a Hollywood insider could pen. It's called Whacked. Now, it's about a woman who writes a TV cop show and becomes a bit of an investigator herself, using what she's learned on the job to snoop on none other than her boyfriend. Jules Asner's with us right Hi, now. Hi, Chris. This <laughs> is a very fun but also very edgy book. This is a very interesting topic. Why did you pick it? Well, it's kind of based on a real life breakup that I did have many, many years ago before I met my husband. And I suspected the person I was dating was cheating on me. And I started looking. I started investigating. And I went through his phone. And I went through his email. And I found out I was right. But by doing that, I really felt terrible about it because I really felt I was invading his privacy. And I felt it made me whacked. I felt it made me crazy. And that was kind of the inspiration for the book. Whacked, double entendre, yes. takes on a different meaning as we go through. Will not be revealed <laughs> on this show. But it's very nice. It's very nice that there's there's certainly more to the word even, let alone the book. Now let me ask you, because it did happen in your own life, mm -hmm. what do you think about this? Does this happen? Do you think that it was something to play on because it doesn't really happen? It just happened to you? What do you think? I think it happens much more than anybody admits. I think women do do it all the time. And I've asked some people just, you know, between us girls, have you ever done this? And so many girls say they have. I mean, I had a girlfriend that was married for, to somebody very famous, and she said that she insists on having all of his codes to his phone, that she gets to have the codes so that at any time she wants to check, Which she Which is a can terrible check. idea. It's a terrible idea. But, I mean, you've been with your wife for many years now. You probably avoided all this technology, email and phone, when you guys, how long have you been dating? We have been dating. <laughs> we have been dating so long after where there's a ring. We, we have uh, been married for almost seven years. We've been together like ten. But here's the interesting thing. Jules and I were talking uh, before we came on here that when my wife picks up my BlackBerry, right, which is usually within three inches of my hand, but when it's not, and she looks at the emails, I often think it's to see how I react. Mm -hmm. You know, do you grab it away from them? Why are you grabbing it? It's just the emails. So it's a very interesting dynamic. Now, it goes beyond the book, and here's how we know. Do you, here's the question that people were asked, do you think snooping on a loved one for any reason is wrong? The numbers that come up will show you on the screen. Yes. 30%, okay, snooping on a loved one is wrong. Yeah. No, it's not wrong. 70%, Very interesting. yeah. Now, how do we see it come out the other way? Have you ever gone through your loved one's emails or phone messages? 68%, yes. Anybody surprised by these numbers or does it seem to make sense? <laughs> Look at you, you bunch of snoopers. You're all snoopers. Now, very interesting about the book as you go through it is that you are profiling a little bit of the Hollywood world. No one was in it more deeply uh, than you. You're married to a big Hollywood big shot, mm -hmm. Mr. Soderbergh, but all your experience in the media, is Hollywood more about this, the snooping, the intrigue, the insider? Do you think it's more prevalent in that world? Well, I definitely do, especially now. I mean, you can see how entertainment journalism has changed. There's just so much more of it. I mean, you can't really, go, you see, looking online, you can't go to a Starbucks without having somebody take your picture. And I do think one of the great things about me being married to somebody that's well-known like my husband is that it's the best thing because if he does anything, somebody will tell me. <laughs> I've had people call me and say, I saw your husband having dinner. I go, it was a business dinner. I know who who he was having dinner with. That's the best thing to, to like, you know, ward off a spouse cheating as dating somebody somewhat well known. But I do think this is probably very prevalent in Hollywood. Absolutely. But what's really nice about the book is that it takes you places you don't think it's going to go. I was telling Julia about 37 pages into it, <laughs> and already I know that the book goes in a very different direction. Give yeah. us a little bit of a tease of what the mystery will be, what the turn, but don't give it away. Well, the lead character, Danny Hale, she is a woman scorned, mm -hmm. and she seeks and gets her revenge. Mm -hmm. It's not just about knowing, it's about reacting. Yeah. Very good. And hopefully you're rooting for her. A little dark, Jules. I know you dark. said some of your husband's friends are like, whoa, when they read the book. Yeah, you know, some of my husband's Jules friends, some of his male friends. On. Yeah, they've called and left voicemails saying, be careful, man. Yeah. There's a lot going on in her mind. No, I had, I had a lot of respect for Jules that hasn't there before the book. Now, a little different type of respect. <laughs> a little different. A little different, Jules. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chris. Pleasure. Good luck with the book. Okay. Whacked is in bookstores right now, so you can buy it. And if you want to read a chapter first, go to our website at abcnews.com. We'll be right back. Thank you.